Not long ago, automotive manufacturers would produce and sell station wagons in the United States as often as they now produce SUV and crossovers. There was a time when Ford, Honda, Toyota, BMW, and Cadillac made their variants of station wagons to meet consumer demand. However, this affinity for the station wagon body style has faded, and only a few vehicle manufacturers are still producing the wagon body style for the 2000s and 22 and 2000s and 23 model years. Two thousands and twenty-three Audi A4 All Road. As Audi's junior station wagon representative, the two thousands and twenty-three Audi A4 All Road is designed with luxury and adventure in mind. The A4 All Road has a lifted suspension, providing it with more ground clearance than the A4 sedan. It is equipped with all-wheel drive, AWD standard, making it a more capable off-road vehicle than its sedan base. The A4 All Road offers an attractive interior cabin made of rich materials and is only second to the interior found in the Volvo V90. Audi was one of the first automotive manufacturers to bring Wi-Fi and data plans into vehicles. They continue to innovate with their MMI infotainment system. The optional virtual cockpit, operated by Audi's MMI infotainment system, offers a high-resolution configurable display in place of a traditional gauge cluster and can feature real-time Google Maps overlays of your surrounding environment. 2023 Volvo V60 Cross Country, similar to the Audi A4 All Road. The Volvo V60 Cross Country begins life as a base model variant of the Volvo V60 and is a part of the luxury station wagon segment. For 2023, Volvo updated the V60 and V60 Cross Country to include new wheels, reworked front and rear bumpers, Volvo's Google-based infotainment system, and the vehicle's user interface. The Volvo V60 Cross Country offers a lifted suspension and SUV styling as opposed to the Polestar engineered variant of the V60 which forgoes a lifted suspension for a stiffer manually adjustable suspension and a performance-focused base. 2022 Mercedes-Benz E-Class All-Terrain At first glance, the Mercedes-Benz E-Class All-Terrain can easily be confused for an SUV, as engineers at Mercedes-Benz have attempted to avoid the stigma associated with the traditional station wagon styling. Despite their best efforts, the E-Class All-Terrain remains a station wagon, combining the premium cabin of the E-Class with the practicality of a larger cargo bay. The 2022 E-Class All-Terrain is powered by a 362-horsepower turbocharged 3.0-liter inline V6 paired with a 48-volt hybrid system and an AWD drivetrain. The All-Terrain features a slightly raised adjustable air suspension, allowing greater ground clearance than previously offered. 2022 Volvo V90 Cross Country As the bigger, more luxurious brother of the esteemed Volvo V60 Cross Country, the Volvo V90 Cross Country has a high standard to meet. Volvo discontinued the base version of the V90 Cross Country in 2021, leaving only the Cross Country variant of the V90 available for purchase in 2022 and into the foreseeable future. The V90 Cross Country remains Volvo's flagship model built on the Volvo Scalable Product Architecture SBA platform. It is powered by a 295 horsepower turbocharged and supercharged four-cylinder engine. Volvo pairs this engine with a 48-volt hybrid system, an 8-speed automatic transmission, and standard AWD to create the V90 Cross Country's powertrain. The V90 Cross Country's powertrain allows an EPA rated 22 mpg in the city and 29 mpg on the highway, ranking average in fuel economy for the wagon segment. 2023 Audi A6 All Road With an Audi A6 as its foundation, Audi adds adjustable air suspension, rugged styling, and a station wagon shape to create the 2023 Audi A6 All Road with increased ground clearance over the traditional A6 and AWD as standard. The naming of the All-Road makes practical sense. While able to conquer environments the A6 cannot, the All-Road retains its road manners and drivability, providing a smooth ride and eliminating road noise. 2023 Subaru Outback Subaru has improved the 2023 Outback, including a tweaked front end, a more prominent grille, revised headlamps, and a new front bumper. Subaru features an improved EyeSight suite of driver assist technology on the 2023 Outback, offering higher quality cameras, allowing for a wider field of view. Subaru outfits the 2023 Outback with a 182 horsepower 2.5 liter engine as standard, and an optional 260 horsepower turbocharged 2.4 liter engine is available. Either engine option is paired to a continuously variable transmission, CVT, and Subaru staple symmetrical AWD. 2023 Subaru Outback 
Subaru has improved the 2000s and 23 Outback, including a tweaked front end, a more prominent grille, revised headlamps, and a new front bumper. Subaru features an improved EyeSight suite of driver assist technology on the 2000s and 23 Outback, offering higher quality cameras, allowing for a wider field of view. Subaru outfits the 2000s and 23 Outback with a 182 horsepower 2.5 liter engine as standard, and an optional 260 horsepower turbocharged 2.4 liter engine is available. Either engine option is paired to a continuously variable transmission, CVT, and Subaru staple symmetrical AWDs. 2000s and 22 Porsche Panamera 4 Sport Turismo. While other station wagons may be easy to mock, realizing that Porsche's Panamera 4 Sport Turismo is a part of the station wagon family silences most joke. It pushes aside the station wagon stigma that continues to be felt by other competitors in the station wagon class. Porsche announced that the third generation Panamera 4 Sport Turismo will be offered as a 2000s and 24 model year, making the 2000s and 22 and 2000s and 23 model year Panamera as the end of the second generation Panamera originating in the 2000s and 17 model year. The Sport Turismo aspect of the Panamera creates the station wagon styling, offering four doors and elongating the roof of a traditional Panamera. The addition of the number four in the vehicle's name refers to Porsche's standard AWD drivetrain. In terms of practicality, the additional cargo capacity provided by the Sport Turismo model provides the Panamera with a competitive edge in the station wagon segment. 2000s and 23 Porsche Taken 4 Cross Turismo This long roof station wagon offers an alternative to the Taken sedan, with a larger back seat and added cargo space over the traditional Taken. For the 2000s and 23 model year, Porsche updated the battery and charging algorithm within the all-electric Taken 4 Cross Turismo, increasing range and enhancing charging speeds. The 2000s and 23 Cross Turismo is outfitted with a dual-motor AWD powertrain, offering 469 horsepower in the base up to 750 horsepower in the Cross Turismo Turbo S variant. The Cross Turismo's additional ground clearance may provide easier access for some consumers but ultimately suffers less range than the normal taken. The infotainment system has been redesigned for 2000s and 23 to offer a more colorful and faster responding user interface, and now includes wireless Andriot Auto. The redesigned infotainment system can assist consumers in finding charging stations utilizing the vehicle's power output as a defining filter. 2000s and 23 Audi RS6 Avant In the sea of station wagons and hatchback stands the Audi RS6 Avant, a mid-size wagon with a supercar driving character, and a hunkered-down intimidating sports car stance. With performance at the apex of creation, Audi outfits the RS6 Avant with a 591 horsepower twin turbocharged V8 engine launching the station wagon from 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds, with a top speed of 190 miles per hour, MPH 22-inch wheels, performance tires, and a sport-tuned air suspension with adaptive dampers. The RS6 Avant blurs the line between sports wagon and supercar performance. The RS6 Avant is agile thanks to a four-wheel steering and torque vectoring rear differential, while the standard brakes offer adequate stopping power. A set of front and rear carbon ceramic brakes are also available. The RS6 Avant utilizes Audi's patented Quattro AWD system and pairs it with an 8-speed automatic train. Audi is known for their luxurious interiors, and the RS6 Avant is no exception. A pair of large touchscreens greet front passengers from the dashboard as they enter the vehicle with a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster display facing the driver. The cabin is covered in leather and upscale materials, generating a comfortable driving experience. 2000s and 22 Mini Cooper S Clubman with a starting MSRP of $29,990. The 2000s and 22 Mini Clubman is the second least expensive wagon available for consumers, losing to the Subaru Outback with a $2,345 starting MSRP difference for the same model year. The Mini Cooper Clubman shines in its compact nature over other station wagons, even though the Clubman is more than a foot longer than the Mini Cooper. It retains the size of other hatchbacks and station wagons in the segment. The 2000s and 22 model year includes updates such as a larger 8.8 inches infotainment display and lane departure warning as standard on all Clubman models. The 2000s and 22 Mini Cooper S Clubman is powered by a 2.0 liter four cylinder engine that generates 189 horsepower and is paired with a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.